All right, Monday night, going to switch it up. Uh, I'm going to start dismantling that thing to fit this thing in there. How far I get? I don't know. We'll see how ambitious I get. I'm going to gut everything out and just cut anything I don't need out. So, yeah. So I'm pausing for a second because I got to get the bumper off. I got to get somewhere in this mumble is uh, the bolts for the front cross member. I think they're in there. And then come back here. I'm going to take off that stuff over there. And then I'm just going to cut the steering column. Bonk. I don't know if I decide to use it or not, but I'll just cut it off short. Uh... Yeah, and then pretty much just find some random spot just to slice this sucker off. And then we'll slide that thing underneath and see how she fits. Okay, so the plan here is to, I'm just gonna cut it super close to the steering box. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to slice the outside of the frame quick. And uh, then I'll go inside, cut the inside when it's on the ground. Okay, so pretty much what I figured would happen happened. The uh, the clip got a little sloppy up on top here, so that's why you see the strap on it now. Uh, yeah, be able to lift it up. You can see it's all jarred loose. So now I'm gonna hoist her up, and uh, we'll take that one out and see how the other one fits underneath. You can see I should get a light. So you can kind of see the mess there. Mess over here. Now this is just strictly an eyeball trying to see how how and where we are here. Tell this side's got to go ahead more because the wheel just doesn't isn't right to the arch. If I get back far enough, so this sucker should come ahead a bit. You don't know. I like to eyeball it. They kind of seem off by factory. Although this one wasn't too bad. So there's a whole lot going to get sloshed out. Here's where the big thing is on these cars or any car usually when you clip them this is not as terrible as I thought but yeah guys got to cut a lot of this stuff out to clear the steering box that's kind of the norm and then of course you know clearance that for your control arms and stuff and we just keep setting it down until uh, we pocket it into the frame and then we can box it all up yeah. 
So it's not too terrible. It actually fits better than I thought it would. But I know we're going to have to go into this cross member. That's always a gimme. That always happens. Okay, so I'm blitzing in every which way direction. I'm actually going on the cross member. Or sorry, the original frame. I'm going to do it on the cross member and just on the body. Just to make sure everything is within reference. I'm going to shim it, make sure it's all square. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to start shaving the frame so I can lower the car down to roughly where I want ride height and get my wheel where I want in the wheel well. Because it's really hard to judge here. It's got to go down quite a few inches. Actually, i got to raise the back of that thing up a bunch more yet. Okay, I saved you all the grief. I've been struggling back and forth trying to knock the clip. This way, that way, back, forward, everywhere. Uh, it's pretty close. It's not 100%. I think I actually want to bring the clip back a bit. But I'm going to start trimming all the horns. i got to trim this front part that I was showing you before. Because, yeah, I can't get the car, the, the sheet metal down until I clear the steering box and stuff. So I'm going to have to go up, probably up into there. Just about up to the cross member. Or the rad cradle. The rad cradle. And then uh, these, I'm going to do a little different. I'm just going to actually just shave this down so I can get the top of the rail to get close to here. I'll follow the line down.
Mais bon. Okay. She's pretty close. She's actually square, but the one side's got to come back a bit. I don't know. It's kind of confusing, but that's kind of how it works. Or at least, I'm hoping it'll stay square. So I'm going to do right now is I'm going to tack that thing just so I can pull this side of the frame rail back a little bit. As my, uh, you know, whatever I'm measuring off of, which is here to, I don't know, there's a point somewhere there that I'm going. I'm like an inch out, which is crazy, but it seems about that. So I need to stretch this forward a bit. It doesn't look like it, but I think because there's some damage on the fender, this fender's probably folded in a little bit because it kind of looks right. It should go a wee bit, but because the other side looks good. I like it. So what I'm going to do is just do a rough tack on top of there just to hold the rail. So I can pull this rail out, get my measurement I need from here to there, and uh, tack it and then go about some way to gluing all this stuff back together here. Okay, got the clip all zapped in tonight. Uh, basically, I just tacked it in. You can, I don't know, you can't see, but I just tacked the top. And then I glued as much as I could down the side. So the clip I can actually lift and whatnot, so I can just start boxing. Like, I'll probably start boxing the inside. And that's strong, the top, the bottom, and then I'll cut away, do what I gotta do on the outside of the frame. Um, I'm gonna pull all the pedals, all that garbage out, and then uh, I'll have to fix up my rad cradle. I think I can, it's not too bad, I think I can just do a little loop there, and then I'll make a, a bracket up to here to go to the stock. Cross member there. So, uh, yeah. Thick and all, that's good for a night. I'll 